Hey everybody, um, just wanted to get on and let everyone know I'm okay, I'm still here, um, don't worry, uh, healthy, you know, so far so good, um, that's knocking on particle board, I don't know if that's the same as knocking on wood, um, yeah, I know I have been um, practicing extreme social distancing uh, for the last week and a half-ish or so. Um, just something that I feel like I need to do for my own sanity. Um, you know, things got crazy real fast for a lot of us. Um, anyone who doesn't know, I am one of those unfortunate folks with um, immune system issues. I have uh, an autoimmune disease called scleroderma and um, part of my treatment is that I need to take immunosuppressant medications. So my immune system is very compromised. Um, so things got real scary real fast uh, for me as, as for a lot of people in this situation. And, um, you know, I just saw a lot of people around me not taking it seriously and um, making things worse. And it, uh, it was very stressful. It, it's really, really stressful when, you know, everything, I mean, basically people all around you are suddenly a threat. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. And I know, you know, there's nothing about this for anyone that's easy. Don't get me wrong there. Um, but I, you know, rather than, it, it just felt like my words were falling on deaf ears when I was telling people to take it seriously. And, um, you know, they, they were still making social arrangements and, meeting people and going out and, you know, I, it's hard not to feel threatened and uh, uh, just to feel like the world had, had gotten very hostile towards me and, and people like me um, in particular. So I just kind of need to be away from all of that and not see it and not, not have to deal with it, you know. Um, so I don't, so I'm not on social media uh, other than here, other than YouTube right now. Um, I deleted Facebook off my phone. I don't even get notifications right now just because I just don't, you know, just can't right now. Um, I've remained in touch with family. That's about it. So anyway, I just wanted to put a quick little video, let everyone know I'm okay. Um, I'm safe. I'm taking every precaution. Wash those hands, y'all. Wash your hands. Um, stay in. Don't go out if you don't need to. Don't take risks. Um, at the end of the day, if, if you are taking risks, it's not just yourself that you're putting in danger. It's other people. So, you know, let's all just do our part. Be good human beings, um, be responsible, nobody's being asked to do anything that your neighbor isn't being asked to do, or the guy down the street, or the person in the next state, or the person in the next country, it's worldwide, y'all, everybody, everybody is got the same, the same burden and the same responsibility to everyone, so, um, you know, if you can do something to help your neighbor do it, if just staying away from them is the best way you can help them, then do that too. Um, if you have something you can donate to help our healthcare workers who are struggling right now, do that. If you can sew masks, if you have materials you can give to somebody who can sew them, um, you don't need to meet face to face, you know, you can drop off a bag on someone's doorstep. If you can, um, you know, if you have something, 
if you have a surplus of something that somebody else could use, um, share. It It's not hard to be a good human being right now. Um, the sooner we all do our part at once together in unison, um, the sooner we can get through this. So um, just be a good person, please. And yeah, we'll get we'll get through it. Might take a while, but um, so I want to start sharing things that I know with people because that's what I can what I can think of that I can contribute that I can help people. I have been a very frugal person my whole life, and I know lots of shortcuts and lots of uh, cheapskate ways. Um, to make do with what you have when you can't get. Um, and I think we're kind of all in that situation right now, having trouble getting resources. Um, I know I am right now. I can't go out to the store, to the grocery shop. And, you know, I try to go on uh, Amazon, on Kroger, on Walmart, and get uh, scheduled pickups. But, um, every time I try everything's full so it's it's hard to to get that right now um I'm not in a desperate situation by any means we've got plenty of food right now um you know I just wanted to get something for next week if I could but um if things are in short supply you know I, I've got food I've actually been baking my own bread and um yeah, really good. So I made a loaf of bread for my daughter, which I am going to drop off at her doorstep tonight. Um, unfortunately, even though my daughter and future son-in-law just live a few minutes up the road, um, who knows when the next time is that I'll be able to see them in person. Um, unfortunately, both of them still have to work right now. They're in touch with the public. My daughter's getting over bronchitis. <sighs> Thank goodness that's all it was. Um, and yeah, so, you know, unfortunately I cannot phys physically be near them, but, um, you know, we, we still are in touch um, over the phone, text, and everything else. So, Stay in touch with your loved ones that way. Um, stick together by staying apart. And yeah, I will try to come on tomorrow. I have um, a, a little treat that I want to share. Um, if you all know me, you know that um, I was laid off a little over a year ago. And I have been supplementing um, what little income we get for the household from my son's disability with um, with by me reselling, um, getting things at thrift stores, yard sales, here, there, and everywhere, and reselling them online. Um, of course, I can't go to thrift stores right now, so sourcing is an issue. Getting things to sell is an issue right now. Um, but I did manage to get a, um, a box, uh, a Goodwill, they call it Goodwill Blue Box. And they're kind of hard to come by. <laughs> they sell out quick. But it's basically a mystery box of, I think it's 10 to 12 clothing items. So um, I have that sitting next to me on the floor here, unopened. Um, I got it last week, I think. Um, yeah, uh, last week. And I haven't opened it. So I was kind of saving that. I thought I would do like an unboxing video. So I will do that tomorrow. I am itching to open it and see awesome I don't know so I will um I'll do that and I will post it tomorrow and um yeah I'll see you then until then keep your hands clean 
stay in and um, have fun.